We're talking today with Father Ted Cassidy, Society of Mary, pastor at St. Joseph Catholic Community in Eldersburg from 1986 to 1996. He is the pastor for whom the parish's Cassidy Center is named. Welcome back, Father Ted. Thank you. Glad to be here. Can you talk about what your approach was to parish ministry and what did you try and create here? Mm -hmm. What did I help try to create here? What was my approach to parish ministry? Um, well, the main, main dynamic, I think, in our minds when we came here as Marianists was to uh, create a community spirit. That was the, um, the main uh, spirit, I think, we had when we came. And before myself, Father Peter O'Grady was here. And then I came with Father Paul Reich in 1986. I was very happy to come here. I really was. I was up in a parish in Connecticut, and the provincial asked me to come here. Um. So, what did we try to create? We tried to cooperate with the people and the community in the gifts that are here because it was a growing area. Father Snyder was a wonderful pastor before we came and he built, the, um, built up the church, built this building that we're in right now, which was formerly a church. Um, and he was very happy that the Marianists came, an order dedicated to the Blessed Mother. He was very content with that. And afterwards, he lived um, in the parish, but he sort of backed away from the parish. He was very gracious. Yeah. So I think we came with trying to, to build up that spirit of community and try to find the gifts of the community, the gifts of the people that were coming here and how you develop all those gifts. Um, and also at the time was a very deep concern with small Christian communities. And uh, the Marianists were founded from small Christian communities. Our founder used small communities. And we sort of recognized that the church is built where people can intimately come together. So we were very concerned with that when we first came. And also, um, we were concerned that uh, the people participate, and the people's gifts were developed, and how you how could we help form it? We were also concerned with social justice. My own so, life has been... And then we really worked on that question of small communities, and one of the brothers came, Richard Connor came, and he spent his full time working on developing small Christian communities, and he was very skilled at that. He would gather leaders, then he'd have ministry programs showing them what the small communities could be, and he constantly recruited new uh, communities, and then they really developed. I don't know how many that developed, but a number of them developed. And you had to keep uh, helping that along, you know. And so that really worked. That was really wonderful. So, and then, then the social justice element, we really were concerned about that, having the people be conscious of what social justice is. And so um, there were already here a lot of good things going on, like the Stephen Ministry, which was a ministry which really people would develop and the parish parishioners developed how you do ministry for especially locally and those people that needed. Um, but we tried also to develop concern for outside of the parish. So one of the things was we developed a ministry with an inner city parish in Baltimore. And that really worked out well because then we would have meetings with them and we would rate, relate with them. And then we developed a relationship with a parish in Peru and parishioners went to Peru. I think that's still going on today, yes. that ministry. Um, and people that were interested in that really caught on to it. Um, and then we developed the facilities. I can remember we didn't have enough money to really hire a person in charge of the facilities. So 
I just read this pastoral plan, which we developed. I got this from the archives downstairs. I just read it over again, and I can remember we didn't have enough money for that facilities person, so we asked the people for an extra thousand dollars, I think a month. We finally got enough money for him, and we hired Fran Seymour. And Fran Seymour was a f former person in the military, a colonel in the military, and he was just excellent at that. And so um, he would save money in all kinds of ways. For example, one time we had to put a new roof on the old church, and Fran looked at the roof and he said, well, only one side of that roof gets beaten up by the winds and storms, so let's just put it on one side of the roof. That's the way he would save money, <laughs> things like that.